It is the 3 4 matchup San Diego State versus Fresno State here in the Irvine Regional. The loser goes home, the winner goes on. Why? Because this is the bracket. UC Irvine advanced beating Fresno State last night. They will play Virginia. So Fresno State, San Diego State here. Hell of a game plan. They were going to attack Strasburg early. Here you see Glasson's home run in the second inning on a first pitch fastball. Strasburg probably had a little bit of nerves going on. You're going to see him make an error on the ball here. We heard about his fielding prowess. He's very good defending his position. He then settles down. Watch the fastballs attack in the corner. 97, 98 miles an hour. Seven innings pitch, 15 strikeouts, but he did lose the game. He did suffer his first loss since May 22nd of last year. So that sets up a matchup with Fresno State because Fresno State took on UC Irvine. They look good except for the fourth inning. Well, wow, that's just UC Irvine playing UC Irvine baseball. They do all the little things it takes to win baseball games. Get hit by pitch, bunt guys over, and you hear you see the first hit batter in that inning. They get the bases loaded. Jordan Fox comes up with a big double. That's what they've done all season long. They're, they're the leading home run hitter only has nine home runs, but they get big hits when they need them. UC Irvine finds little ways to win baseball games. A 4-2 victory for UC Irvine puts Fresno State back in a familiar position. What's that position? Facing elimination. Last year on the road to a national championship, 6-0. They are 4-0 this year in postseason play. And the starting lineup for Fresno State looks like this. Danny Muno will lead things off and bat second. Dusty Robinson in left field had a big night last night. He'll bat second. Tom Mendoza will bat third and bat and play third base. Jordan Rivera, the first baseman, bats cleanup. They will face the right-hander, Tyler Levine. Six feet, 190-pound junior from Las Vegas, Nevada. Second team, all Mountain West performer. 15 games, 7-2 record, a 3.32 ERA. The 1-2. That one is sky to right center field. Pat Caldwell moves over, makes the catch for the first out here in the ball game. Behind the plate, Tommy Mendoza steps to the plate. First pitch swing, ground ball right side, diving stop by Blackburn, gets to his feet. Not in time, an infield single for Tommy Mendoza. 1-1 one, one pitch, ground ball again on the right side. And they will go to second for the fourth out. Easton Gust on the bag. No runs on one hit, one man left on base. We're through a half inning, no score. San Diego State coming up. Pat Caldwell will lead things off, followed by Jamel Torres and Brendan Meredith. Eric Castro will bat cleanup. Corey Vaughn in right field bats fifth. Mitch Blackburn will bat sixth. Chris Wilson will DH and bat seventh. Matt Parker, the catcher, will bat eighth. And Easton Gust will bat ninth. They will face the right-hander Matt Morse from Glendora, California. Through a perfect game when he was 14 years old. A junior, 18 games this year, a 4-2 record, 4.54 ERA, 75 and a third innings, 89 hits. And the first pitch from Matt Morse. That one's taken right back up the middle. So good approach by Caldwell, first pitch swinging, but he goes right back up the box. The defense for Fresno. 1-1, one, one, runner bluffs, breaking ball drill deep to left field. Robinson is back, looks up, and there he goes. He makes up for yesterday with a two-run homer here in the first. Well, I would say a, a little bit better approach, but right here it's just a bad pitch. You see a backup breaking ball goes right back over the middle of the plate in the, in the Meredith's bat. Very capable of a long ball, obviously. Yesterday, just facing a little bit better, a little tougher slider. Today, he gets the hanger and hits it out. As a hitter, you must salivate when you see a breaking ball like that. Yeah, that one is a screaming hit me as it's coming to home plate. I mean, backs up right into the barrel. You watch the catcher's glove as he's setting up, moves right back towards the inside of the plate. 3-1 gets a fastball, pops it up in a shallow right field. Coming in is Gowans. That's going to fall in for a base hit. Gowans is playing very deep in right field. So first and second, still just one out here in the bottom half of the first inning. A lot of base hits over on that part of the field. The runners go, a hit and run, step on third. Mendoza to first. Oh, what a nice double play to end the inning. That is what Morse needed and also what Fresno State needed. The one-two from Levine. Excuse me, from Levine. And there is a strikeout, first of the game. Scouted the other pitch. Two-one, runners going in the air to left center field. Caldwell going over to his right to make the catch. And that will end the inning.
No runs on, no hits, one man left on base. And you know Tony Gwynn is the head coach at San Diego State. One, two, that one is swung and a miss, strike three. Because Eric Castro is the personal caddy for Steven Strasburg. There's a slow ground ball to third base. Tough play for Mendoza, the bare hand, and he got him. Oh, this guy. It's a, obviously the leader of this team. He's not going to let a, a bad game like that affect the rest of his teammates. This his team is they lost a lot of players from last year's title team, and he's leading these guys. Check swing. And that is a fair ball. Now they got the runner held up between first and second, you know. And that's one of the most awkward double plays I think you will ever see. Bleachers are full. Almost, grass must be wet. The grass was packed last night. Blackburn first pitch swinging ground ball to Muno, and again, Morse is able to get out of a jam. They load the bases, and San Diego State cannot take advantage. Worth a long time deciding on what pitch to throw. Levine, ground ball right side again, under the glove of Blackburn this time. Blackburn going to his left. Levine's 3-2 pitch, fastball up in the zone, and Rivera chases it. 0-1 off the end of the bat to left center field. Long run for Caldwell, dives it, gets by him. Gallons will round third, he's going to score easily. Kenny Wise is going for three, he's going to be in there standing up. Good piece of hitting right here by Kenny Wise, but a big mistake by Caldwell diving for that ball. The runner at first base, two outs, stay on your feet. You keep that ball in front of you and, and minimize your damage. So you keep runners at second, third, and let uh, Tyler Levine go at the next hitter. I mean, it, this, is a, this is a huge mistake diving for this ball and letting it get by you all the way to the wall. Really had no chance with the dive. You know, there's a difference between playing hard and doing things that are, that are going to hurt the rest of your ball club. And in that situation, Caldwell hurts the rest of his team by letting the baseball get by him into the wall and letting the runner from first. The one-two. Fastball gets him a chase, and that will do it here in the fourth. Two strikeouts in the inning for Levine, but a run does come across. Uh, to get that, baseball isn't decided in one day. 2-0, ground ball through the vacated hole on the right side. Matt Parker will stop at second base. Runners on first and second, one out here in the fourth for San Diego State. Adrian Gonzalez, yourself, Matt Bush. Mm -hmm. Pretty good group except for the, the, the Bush kid. He's <laughs> having a little problems, hasn't he? Yeah, I, I think San Diego would like to have that pick back. 0-1, hard ground ball and a shortstop. Vivas to second over the first. And there is that double play. No runs on two hits, one man left on. We played four complete. When we come back, we'll talk. He'll get the baseball uh, in focus to travel across home plate with something unbelievable. 2-2 two -two pitch. That one is caught on a line by Eric Castro at third base. And there are two away here in the fifth. And, and just find out, like pick his brain, how he approaches and, and what he sees when he's watching a hitter. 2-2, two -two, that one slapped the other way. I think he'd like that one if that were his team. Danny Muno, he's going to head to second base with a two-out double. There's on in front of these two, two guys. They have 15 home runs in Robinson. Ground ball to third base. Tough play by Castro getting the in-between hop. And he's able to retire. Dusty Robinson ball out, so stay out there. The 3-1 in the air to deep left field again. Robinson looks up. The second of the day for Brandon Meredith. And I tell you what, I mean, you're talking about getting the ball down in the zone and, and getting his ground balls. This is a good pitch. This is the heck of a swing that Brandon Meredith puts on the ball. You're going to watch this replay. Although it's over the middle of the plate, it is down in the zone. Meredith goes down and gets it, drives it right over the 387. Seventh home run of the season for Meredith. You look here, and that pitch is down in the zone, kind of comes back into the barrel of Meredith, and after watching him for a couple days, you know, a pitch on the inner half is something that he's going to handle very well. Keep the ball away from him, he's going to struggle with it because he's such a pull hitter. And he suffered his first loss. There it is, into Mitchland. Mitchland. Or in a Tony Gwynn 5.5 hole. An opposite field single for Mitch Blackburn, first and second. Go the other way, 
and give the guys behind me a chance to hit. Mike Batesel has made the sign to the bullpen. The day is done for Matt Morris. Runners on first and second, two outs. Bottom half of the fifth inning, 3-1, San Diego State. The texture, how he calls it, rather than what he calls. The runners will be off with a pitch. There they go, and that one hits Wilson. So a 3-2 hit batter from Holden Sprague. Sprague, a long look, the 0-2. That one gets off the catcher, Garrison. Here comes Castro, and he will score as everybody moves up the base. Early on in his career as well. 3-2, swing and a miss. And there is the sixth strikeout of the game here for Levine. Up, Steven Strasburg from last night. Well, and he, like I said earlier, he's kind of stomped his foot today and said, hey, you know what, there is another pitcher here at San Diego State, and I've done pretty darn well this year. You know, he, he, he's moved the ball around in the zone. He's, he's struck out a few more batters than he's than, than, than normal, than his normal pace. But I tell you what, he's really kept the, the Fresno State hitters off balance. Runner goes, throwing on a second base, and we have a caught stealing to end the inning. Gowans is thrown out. That one is hit well to center field. Hedstrom going back, and he will make the catch on the run for the first out. You know, he pitched inside, moved hitters off the plate. That's what you got to do. 2-2 Two -two on the outside corner, called strike three, and that is textbook pitching. Another 3-2 delivery. In the air to right center field. That's going to be trouble. Muno is going to go for extra bases. Vaughn goes back to retrieve it, and Muno will stop that second base with a second double of the game. Well, another phenomenal piece of hitting there by, by Danny Muno, the leadoff hitter for... 1-2, got him. Strikeout number eight for Levine. Oh, what a pitch, too. I mean, I, I think this is a change. I doubt about it, but they're going to go to the bullpen first. They will go to the bullpen. It's a 4-1 game. Runner on second. Two outs. Top of the eighth inning. Replaced as he throws 120 pitches, just like his teammate Steven Strasburg, who was just in front of him. He is replaced by Addison Reed. Reed is a closer, a Golden Spikes Award semifinalist from Rancho Cucamonga, California. A six foot three, 215 pound sophomore on the season has appeared in 24 games, no record. His ERA is 0 0.68, 19 saves, 26 in the third innings. The 3 2. In the air, left field, going back of the ball is Torres. He should have room by the warning track. The wind carried all the way towards the wall, but that will end the inning. Reed comes in, does the job. The line on Levine is done. 4-1, San Diego State leads. Now the 1-2 pitch. In the air to right center field. Detweiler on the run. He will not get there. Blackburn, he's going to head for second. He'll stop there with a leadoff double here in the eighth inning. Well, not quite Mitch Land. He turns on the ball. He gets a pitch in. He can handle, and, and that's exactly when you're thinking. Easton Gus, first pitch in the air to shallow center field. Coming in is Gowans. Let's see if they test his arm. They do. Here comes a throw, and the runner bluffs. On bottom eight. First pitch right back to Sprague. He'll throw to first base, and he gets out of it without a run coming across. No runs on one hit. Two men left on. Elevating the eyes of these hitters and getting a strikeout. And there's a strikeout right there by Reed as he sends Rivera back to the dugout. Kind of deflating for the San Diego State team. First pitch swinging is Gowans. He grounds on the first base, and there are two outs here in the ninth inning. It would have been very easy for San Diego State to come out here flat, you know. The one-two. Got him! The run for Fresno State has come to an end. They lose to San Diego State 4-1. to one. And San Diego State will move on to play the loser of the nightcap between UC Irvine and Virginia. Levine gets the win, Moore suffers a loss, and Reed picks up the save. 
Fresno State, they are eliminated, the 2008 national champions. And you take a look at Mendonca, a heck of a career here at Fresno State. He's going to be a first-round draft pick, nothing to hang his head about. A very proud Fresno State Bulldog team.